Good day, folks. Today, I'm going to talk about quantum physics, writing fiction, and your imagination, and how they tie in together. Stay tuned, because my idea on this is going to blow you away. Alrighty, okay, I'm going to try and keep this as simple as possible. I'm not going to get into too many details about quantum physics because who really knows what quantum physics are all about anyway. Um, what it does show, however, is that everything fundamentally is energy. Fundamentally, everything is vibrating energy. If you took, for example, a really high-powered uh, microscope and put your hand under it, at some point all the, uh, the, the skin would disappear, the, uh, the blood vessels would disappear, the uh, molecules would disappear. At some point, everything would completely disappear except energy. It would become invisible to the eye there would just be vibrating energy. And that's what everything would be. It wouldn't matter if it was a coffee cup that I just drank out of, if it's the camera that's filming me, the table it's sitting on, doesn't matter what it is. Animals, rocks, stars, mountains, doesn't matter. Fundamentally, everything comes down to just vibrating energy. And here's the neat part. At no point can you see where my hand disappears and the table, for example, would start. At no point can you see separation because there is none. There is no separation. What that means is that there is only one of us here. Everything truly is connected and there is only one of us here. Now this isn't some goofy conspiracy theory uh, in which you know, somebody's just projecting this idea that that uh, uh, energy is all that is and uh, and it's basically intelligent. No, they have actually proven that that is a fact. It is intelligent design. The energy that permeates through everything, through our bodies, moment by moment, through everything, is intelligent design and everything is connected, there is only one of us here. Now, the reason why I'm saying this is because thoughts as well are energy. This has also now been shown. They can actually show thoughts as energy and what's actually happening. Thoughts are a tangible thing. They, they do create your reality. Uh, with quantum physics, uh, the observer effect, again, has shown that thoughts not only change reality, reality they actually um, predict it as well and change it in that aspect. So here's my point about imagination and writing. Your imagination uh, is thoughts, of course, vibrating thoughts. And uh, getting back to uh, sort of mainstream science, they don't really have any clue where your memories are stored in the brain. They don't know how it works. They haven't got a clue how that works, how we can consciously close our eyes and think of a past memory, for example. They don't know how that works. Well, I believe, and I think it's starting to show uh, to be the case, um, that your thoughts and everything anybody has ever thought is actually not in our brain. It's all around us. It's in that ether energy. It's in that divine intelligence, that intelligent design ether, vibrating energy that, like quantum physics has shown, is full of the 
potential, every possibility, every probable reality, every possible reality, every potential already exists. So if you are imagining a thought, or you're, you are imagining, say, if you're writing, uh, something that your character is doing, this is what I'm going to say that might shock a lot of people. I believe that that is an event that is happening now, and that is you doing it. That's you as that character. You are the one that is in that character that you're writing about. It's you, and it's happening right now. All the good stuff you can think about, all the bad stuff you can think about, whatever you're writing about in fiction, you know, if it's historical fiction like I write, Western, period Westerns, stuff like that, it's happening. And there isn't a writer out there, I'm sure, who, when they're writing, don't put a piece of themselves, if not a lot of themselves, in their main character and their uh, uh, subsidiary characters as well. Every character, there's a piece of them in it. And there's a reason for that, I believe, because you are them. If there's only one of us here, which quantum physics proves, there's only one of us here. And if your thoughts are vibration, your thoughts are as tangible as anything else that's in this illusion that we live in, then, and if everything's happening at once, then your thoughts or a manifestation of what's happening to you now. You are just bringing it in from the energy, from your vortex, basically, that is around you, which can be measured as well, too, the vortex around us. It's like a donut-shaped type of a vortex that comes in, circles around, comes around. So, if you keep that in mind when you're writing, um, for me, anyway, uh, I throw myself into the character uh, and my characters, and I I feel I feel what they feel, and I, I think if you have a fundamental awareness of this as being the truth, it is going to really help your writing, and it's going to help take you places uh, as you could imagine, not could not imagine. No, it's going to take you places where you can imagine, because that's how it works, and it's happening right now to you in another reality. It's even shown or considered, or put forth out there, that every possibility exists right down to the minute detail where you go for a coffee today, uh, say, for with a friend. You go for a coffee and have a coffee with a friend today. Well, there's a reality out there where you went for that drink with your friend but didn't have coffee and had tea. And from there, that reality just goes off a little bit. That's how amazing uh, that this illusion of a reality we actually live in really is. And this is what quantum physics is showing. So on that note, if you like this video, folks, please give me a thumbs up. Any comments would be just fantastic to hear on this. Subscribe to my channel. Uh, I'm going to have another music video coming up pretty quick. And uh, you can check me out uh, on my website, jwcollinsauthor.com. Check out my books. Uh, join my email list there uh, so you can uh, download some of my free uh, short stories to sample my work and uh, check me out on Facebook and Twitter and uh, be sure to when you do subscribe hit that uh, bell for notifications of upcoming videos because uh, that's how that's how you, they find you now I guess anyway until next time have the best day you can and keep on writing. See you soon.